I want to encourage my brothers and sisters that although everybody go through hard times, I want to teach you something about your hard time. The way you speak to it is how it is. It's, 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 it's the results of your outcome, basically. You know what I'm saying? It's say life and death is in the power of the tongue. So just because you're going through a hard time, you don't have to speak to that situation negatively. I dare you speak to your situation as if you are already on the outcome side. You know what I'm saying? Stop calling yourself broke. Man, I'm so broke, I can't pay attention. I'm so broke, I'm broke, Joe. I'm broke. Man, stop that. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I ain't got what I'm going to have, but man, God can replenish this bank account. You know what I'm saying? What you was death, but now you're speaking life. God can replenish this bank account. You know what I'm saying? That's life. Man, I'm so tired of this marriage. I'm tired of this man. I can't take this woman no more. I'm done with this. I'm ready to start over. It's just too much. That's death. You know what? Even though I ain't seeing clear, even though I ain't seeing clear in my marriage, I believe God can work it out because He wanna let us get get together. And whatever and whatever's gonna happen, I'm trusting the Lord with it. That's life. You know what I'm saying? Like it's 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 all about how you speak to your storm, man. How you speak to your situation. You know what I'm saying? You can't just like I always say. It's a bad thing to have a bad perspective and a bad language to us an already bad situation. You know what I'm saying? Power of life death is in, is in the tongue. You have to speak positively no matter what you're going through. Like I really I, ho I really hope this video reach out, man. You gotta speak positively, man. Because the brain understand words. The brain understand thoughts. The brain understand where you at according to what you speak. So when you tell yourself that you're broke, when you tell yourself that you're ready for a divorce, you know what I'm saying? When you tell yourself that you can't get a job, guess what? You stay broke. You don't get a job. You end up divorced only because you spoke death to your situation. Speak life. No matter how hard it hurt, no matter what you're going through, no matter how hard, how much extra energy you got to pull out of yourself to push, day in, day out, push yourself towards life. Push yourself towards positivity. Surround yourself by positivity. Stop surrounding, stop, stop, stop surrounding yourself by people that's dying and you wanna and you wanna have life. I ain't talking about people that's actually dying physically when you having a funeral for them. No, people that's dying on the inside. They dying in the mind. They dying in the heart. They dying in their words. They dying in their thoughts. They dying in their spirit. They dying the way they treat people. Just death. And you and you trying to have life around all these dead souls, man. You have to surround yourself by what you're trying to be. You have to find people that have that have somewhat similar of the, of a mindset that you have, an outlook on life that you have, the outlook on adversity that you have. And and after a while, iron will sharpen iron. You start to pick up on their positivity. You start to pick up on the way they think. You start to pick up on their resiliency. Come on, man. I'm speaking that real, man. You 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 are who you hang around. You hang out with mangy dogs, you will get fleas. Trust me. You know what I'm saying? But speak life to your situation, man. I really think this will cut down on suicide in a lot of people's life. Because these days, man, any little thing that somebody get hit with, man, they ready to take their life, man. They ready to throw in the towel, man. That is not being that is not being mentally or spiritually tough, man. You know what I'm saying? When I wanted to commit suicide before, I didn't even realize how weak I was really being, man. I didn't realize what my future really held. 16 years ago, I wouldn't have this beautiful family, being a business owner, just just being able to encourage people all around the world, man, everywhere I go. I'm being a light to somebody's life. Imagine if I would've took my lights out, man. Imagine if God would've uh, allowed me to. You know what I'm saying? And he wouldn't have caused that pistol to jam. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm trying to encourage y'all, man. Stop trying to take your life because it get hard. You know what I'm saying? Stop quitting and turning your back on the people that love you because it get hard. Hang in there. Speak life to your situation, man. Think life to your situation. Believe life into your dead situation. And, and, get, and get the hell from around these dead ass souls so you can have some life. Find you some life, man. Find you some people that's thriving. Find you some people that's trying to go somewhere in life. Stop hanging out with these damn lowlifes. But you wonder why your spirit is drained. Because ain't nobody around you got life. 
I'm speaking that real, man. Come on now, like get with me, man. Ain't nobody around you got life, but you say you want to have life. You need to change your surroundings. You need to change the people you hanging around. That way you can change your mindset. You can change your heart. Because the more whole you become, the, the better your heart become. The clearer your mind become. You, be start, you begin to speak more maturely. You begin, you begin to speak more life. You, but you gotta change your surroundings. You know what I'm saying? You gotta change what you tell yourself. You gotta change what you believe in yourself. Even if you don't see it yet, man. If God showed you a better life for yourself, I need you to speak to that thing till you get there. And even when you get there, still speak to it. So you can stay there and continue to go higher. Don't be complacent because you make it. No, 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 no. Only a fool will do that. Only a fool will do that. Resilient. Be resilient, y'all. And speak life, man. There's enough death going on, man. In the flesh and in people's spirit every day. So I want to encourage you to speak life and get from around all these dead souls, man. Go, go, go grow first. If you love them that much, go grow. And then come back and try to encourage them. But if they don't listen, like I've had to cut a lot of people off that I came up with. I left. I left and I grew. I elevated. I metamorphosed. And I came back trying to tell them, man, the way out. I tried to tell them how to do it. I tried to tell them that God still loved them too. Even though they in the streets, even though they live in Rome. And God on God ain't worried about that. Just repent, man. And continue to perfect yourself before him. They ain't want to hear. You know what I had to do? Cut them off. I had to cut them off. I came back and tried. But that even happened to Jesus. When he left, started his ministry, and he came back to his original people, I think the, Naz the Nazarene, they didn't accept him. Because they still looked at him as the carpenter's son. They still looked at him just... Just, just, he's just, that's just, that's just little Jesus. That's just, you know, that's just him. Not realizing how much power, how much anointing, how, you know what I'm saying? How much love, how much guidance that he had went and obtained and tried to bring back to them. But you can't help everybody, man. And everybody can't go. But like I said, man, speak life, man. Speak life. See yourself out of your situation. Don't minimize yourself to where you are and just look at it as that. Oh, this is where I'm at. I'm going to be right here in the projects for life. I'm going to be broke. I'm just going to drive this raggedy car. I, 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 can't, I can't afford my dream car. I ain't worth that. All, all I'm worth is just dreaming about it. Well, if you're dreaming about it, that means you can achieve it. Thanks. God bless y'all, man. Happy Friday. It's payday, y'all. Don't blow all your money. Make wise decisions. <laughs> all right.